All right, y'all, we are finally in the month of June, my birth month in full effect, June 15th, to be, you know, direct. And uh, what better way to pop it off with the God of Merle of the Jordan 1 Washed Heritage. Now, you might be asking, Tony D, where you get that shirt? Where you get that shirt? Let me show you. I wanna give you a huge shout out to Represent Clothing for sending your boy over a care package. Everything you see will be linked down below. All right, Woohoo! First things first, we have a Motley Crew Without You t-shirt and I'm loving it, man. It's very nice and heavy, but also the print, this old school vintage style of like crack print going on around through all out on and check it out. You can see that it's like slightly cracked as if it was like in the dryer for many, many years. But it also feels like it's gonna like last. It's not gonna just be flaking off and breaking. It's just an effect that they did that I think will play along very, very well with the vintage type of look. You also have some distressing around the neck collar as well, which I really, really like. I will leave links down below in the description to everything that you see. Next up, Motley Crue initial t-shirt. Boy, when my mama see this, she gonna try to take one of these from your boy, all right? They do have a whole collection with Motley Crue, so if you wanna go check them out, it's tons of different items. My mom's a big fan. I wanted to buy, I'm not gonna sit here and say I was the biggest fan, but I did wanna buy some and uh, you know wear it in front of her and see what she says, you feel me? We have some of their blue cream denim. This is in a size 34, and it's like a baggy type of look more so. Sometimes when it comes to the pants, the waist I feel like sometimes fits, sometimes doesn't, and it's more so on a smaller size, like a 34 will sometimes feel extremely tight, sometimes it won't, but this one for the most part being this size 34, and me just doing it, it looks like it's gonna fit perfect. Next, we have a Storms in Heaven tee, and this is in a gray. And this is all size medium. They're size medium, I love how it fits. It's a wide body. The print is very, very nice and hefty, not cheapy, you know, very thick, not flimsy whatsoever. We have another Motley Crew Bad Boys. Now this one right here, my mom is gonna have an issue with. This one right here, I, I might have to see if I can get me another one of these, cause she's gonna go, she would go wild about this. Front. The back, this collab overall, A1 steak sauce. I'm loving this one. This is my favorite one. I'm gonna rock this next time I go to her house and uh, she's gonna flip. I also copped a pair of hiking socks. It says represent and then it seems like it says inner land, but upside down land. And then last but not least, we picked up some more of their shoes, which they do very, very well with the shoes, man. I ain't gonna cap. I think I went with like regular black and white. Oh, nah, this is something else. This is, they threw this one in here. <laughs> They threw this one in here. I didn't order this one. I am about to say, yeah, these are called mules. Your boy don't own any pair of, hey, I don't have an issue with it. The thing, I was gonna actually order some mules. The thing is, I didn't see my size and they sent me an all black, which is perfect. I'm rocking these right here, boy. Look, man, growing up as a kid, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Growing to Druid Hills, you know, we had different demographics, you know what I'm saying? Growing up as a kid, your middle class, your lower end, your high end, and. All the kids that, uh, what was it called, Duran Mill, I think, or something like that, they all lived uh, and had their little Birkenstocks, you feel me? And boy, I couldn't afford no Birkenstocks, nor would we even wear it. Back then, we, you know, we would clown people wearing from Birkenstocks. As you get older, though, that type of stuff just doesn't matter anymore. Oh, these are really comfortable, too. Hey. <laughs> boy, I never would have thought, bro. These are nice, though. Like they feel, they fit good and uh, they look good. I ain't gonna cap. But yeah, huge shout out to Represent. I'm gonna link everything down below in the description. Check it out ASAP. You know, I got this t-shirt all on deck as well. By far, my favorite brand right now, beside my very own, of course, Represent is killing it. Quality, everything. The prices, you might see the price, you might be like, whoa, but trust me, you ain't gonna, once you get in hand, you'll understand. That's the best way I can, you know, explain it to you. Represent Clothing, huge shout out. Links down below, let's get it. All right, y'all, we got them in full effect, man. The Jordan 1 Washed Heritage. These are set to release on June 10th for a retail price point of $180. Just look at it. Let's look at it. Straight koala bear neck bone. This is straight koala bear. I mean, the colors, this tells you it. Koala bear neck bone, backbone, and all the goddamn above in the building. And it's very, very rough, man. It's really, it needs some oil on it. It needs some type of smoothing. But at the same time, I mean, it's called the Wash Heritage. If I had to take a guess of what a Wash Heritage is, the heritage of Jordan brand and the timeless continuation of on and off court colorways throughout the whole entire period of its existence. And of course, that heritage being brought down from the gods of above and then put onto the shoe, but still resembling its true OG form and some vintage aesthetics along with it with the cell midsole. And yes, I just made all that up. 
But what we got here today is a gray suede and I guess plain grain leather upper mixture going on here. And the gray suede, as you can see, is in different colors. You have a dark one and a light one. And uh, for the most part, man, these are suedes that are washed. That's the look it's trying to give you. You know, typically if you have a gray or a black pair of jeans and you wash them over and over, they tend to fade over time. And I think that that's what they're trying to capture here with this shoe in particular. And we've seen this actually before on the washed pink joints. Remember them, the, the atmospheric pink, washed pink. I did a review on it. I messed the name up, 45. It was so many different names. There'd be so many different name changes nowadays. The craft ones, the Nyjah vibrations of Nyjah, like Jordan Brand don't know what they want to do at the end of the day, but these are called the Wash Heritage. We had a Wash Pink. They were, I think, a women's exclusive. I wanna say, maybe they weren't, I can't even remember. I reviewed them in April or maybe in the month of May. We're viewing so much stuff nowadays. I'm getting old now, I'm starting to lose my memory, you feel me, so to each its own. But we have it here with this one. Cell midsole, different grays right here, white grain leather, and, you know, suede. It's very rough though, it's not a soft suede. It's not peanut butter patty melt, you know, it's got a little bit of roughness to it. It's washed in a way. Have you ever had suede, like some Tim's? got them wet over and over and they dry, they end up getting more and more stiffer, more and more of a brittle feeling, grit feeling to it that uh, you know people don't tend to like. So that's what's going on here. If you're expecting some very soft type of material, that's not what you're gonna get. But at the same time, this grit and this tough type of material gives me a feeling that these can be a little bit more durable than some very nice, elegant suede type of filling shoe. These feature a white insole with a red Nike Air. That red Nike Air is also featured on the tongue as well, black with a red Nike Air. And they also come with an extra set of laces in black. So I might have to do that with the on foot. I might have to spice it up. I, I, I tell y'all that and I be forgetting, okay? I forget a lot of stuff, bro. I have a lot of stuff going on, you know? It is what it is, but forgive me. If I can remember, I'll do a black and a white lace when we do the actual in-depth review. If you're tuned in and you're watching this, this is not the full review. This is my initial thoughts and opinions. So, you know, to each its own. Outsole is all blacked out, and I think they went with a good color. I like the black. The black accents definitely help make the shoe pop a little bit more. I would just all over gray would have been a little too much, but the neutralness of it, the black on the tongue, the black on the insole, and the black on the outsole, I think it just really makes the shoe pop out even more. And then the little, little red did this Dab it up, you feel me? They did a little, a real solid job overall. I ain't gonna, I can't complain. These are definitely, in my opinion, going in the collection. How long? That part we'll just have to wait and see. These are definitely though, something that I can add in and trade or sell down the road and make some of my money back. I'll definitely make my money back. I might make even a little bit more. These are currently going for like, I've seen 225 to 270, that range, depending on the sizes. So with that being said, you know these are gonna be more than likely selling out. These are not gonna sit. And for the past couple of ones that have released, uh, Cement Grays being one of them, the Nyjas, they've been going for below retail. So it's good to finally see some hype and demand going for the Jordan 1. No, I want to say I want these reselling and all that galore. No, no, nah, nah. I like shoes sitting. I like that. But I do like to see demand is still there and people still want to participate in this sneaker game. So seeing a shoe start to get the praise and get the lifted up, it's a little bit exciting as well. On the box, black says fire red, white. Check it out. Got a little gradient tray from light to um, well, dark to light or light to dark, whatever you want to call it. And these little speckles of black all throughout the shoe, I guess kind of reminds me, I'm, I would think at least, of like scratching and distressing or just trying to give it a, it even seems like some like cement print splatter or whatever. But what I'm taking from it and what the shoe's about is once again kind of playing on our heartstrings of that old aesthetic vintage type of storytelling. That's just how I look at this, a little bit at least. It looks a lot like what we've seen also on the Air Max One Big Bubble. Wash heritage, you got a midsole at sale. They want to give that vintage aesthetic. I mean, this t-shirt from Represent, right? Motley Crew, vintage aesthetic. They want that vintage look replicated on something brand new. If this was actually from back then, it'd be way more valuable, but just be, you know, even though it's not, it's still a dope t-shirt that I like a lot. And that's one thing that I definitely feel bad for people that participate and like really do the vintage stuff, is that vintage wear, it still holds its value to the people that want to buy it, but now people can just go and re-replicate it and buy it as well. It's kind of the same with, you know, UAs and real versus fake. And look, I'm 
I'm not here. If you want to buy UAs, that's perfectly fine. Cause look, I'm buying a replicated t-shirt. I, I, I couldn't afford this actual vintage Motley Crue from back in 1980 or whatever. It'd probably go for uh, 700 to a thousand dollars, but represent made a newer version. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I rock it. But it is licensed by Motley Crue. It's an actual collab. Represent and Motley Crue came together on it. So it's a little bit different, but I just opened up the floodgates in the comment section, I know. However, with that being said, Jordan brand wants to give people who missed out on those vintage shoes an opportunity to get a brand new shoe that has the vintage look and wear on it. You sell so someone like me that doesn't have the 85 Jordan 1 Chicago, I can own the lost and found and feel like it. You feel me? So I get what they're doing. They're playing on our heartstrings of the vintage type of hype that's been going on. And that's why we're seeing sale this being reused, reused, reused. And now washed denim being used as a way of vintage. Washed wear, washed clothing over time starting to fade. Washed heritage. So yeah, man, size eight and a half. Fit, I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit like any other eight and a half. We'll definitely do a full on in-depth review. Stay tuned. The leather, typical leather grain on here. Like I stated before, the suede. It's not very, very rough, but it's not extremely smooth either. It's like right in the middle. It's decent. It definitely feels like it's durable though. I'll give them that. So yeah. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm gonna see y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.